From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In the previous episodes of this series, we covered the mainstream and conspiratorial versions of Illuminati history. Skeptics don't believe the Illuminati exists today, and, they argue, the boogeymen described in conspiracy theories probably never existed in the first place. But to conspiracy theorists, the most pressing question about the Illuminati isn't how they came to exist, it's what they plan to do with centuries worth of influence and power. If this group is real, then what do they want? Here's where it gets crazy. The Illuminati are at the core of numerous, often contradictory theories. These theories have several common themes. The first is generally thought to be the establishment of a one-world government. According to theorists like Mark Dice, manufactured crises or false flag attacks will force world citizens to accept the security of a global government. Other theorists predict that these false crises may be staged religious experiences, wars, or economic collapse. The second commonly alleged goal of the Illuminati is the massive depopulation of the planet through disease, war, or starvation. In this theory, the Illuminati wants to reduce the world's population to approximately 500 million. The theorists who believe this goal quote Prince Philip's controversial remarks about population growth along with the Georgia Guidestones, which set out a strange list of commands for the future. The third and most obscure perceived goal of the Illuminati is the achievement of something called the Great Work. The Great Work is typically associated with Freemasonry. This work is alternately described as a magic spell, a ritual, or spiritual transcendence. However, the specifics of the Great Work are thought to be closely guarded secrets. Theorists also claim that the modern Illuminati operate under different names in groups such as the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderberg Group, or the Trilateral Commission. Theorists allege that leaders of world government, finance, and trade secretly plan to accomplish Illuminati goals in these meetings. In short, these groups are interlocking pieces of one large conspiracy, and while some leaders may appear to be competitors, they are in fact cooperating. Skeptics are not convinced. While it is true that the Bilderberg Group doesn't release public records of their meetings, many other groups do. Secrecy alone is not necessarily sufficient proof. So where does this leave us? Are the Illuminati real? How could a small group of people with such grand ambition keep it secret for such a long time? While the conspiracy theories surrounding the Illuminati range from implausible to downright bizarre, this doesn't mean the entire concept is without merit. As the world experiences dramatic rises in income inequality, wealth and influence are increasingly found in the hands of fewer and fewer people, and globalization has made the world a much smaller place. While a global government may have been impossible for most of human history, it has now become a possibility, if not a probability, of the future. The idea of a shadowy elite beyond the rule of law running the world for its own pleasure may be fiction now. But for how long?